Listen, first of all, it's my jam. Number one. Number two, today we're gonna check out B2B Beat Beat. And this is another song that I have not listened to that I've been saving. And if, by the way, if you're waiting for me to check out Elhun's album, it's still coming. But I actually have another little themed week that that's gonna fit right into. And it's gonna let me check out his album and other albums that I've also said I'm gonna check out that I haven't gotten to yet because I got a comment, I'm explaining it to you at the end of the video, because it's also gonna let me check out more CLC because you guys also told me to check out CLC. Oh my god, I opened the video and I didn't even bother to stop Black Dress. <laughs> I've done that already like with other songs. Hey, hold on, this is my favorite part. Watch. I don't know their names yet though, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna show you right now. Hold on. Hold on. What's what's her name? Hold on, no, no, not her. The rapper that come in right now, her. Who is she? What's her name? I just wanna know. I only know Soren. Who is she? I just wanna know. Now we're gonna move right on to Beep Beep, okay? Put the volume real quick. And knowing B2B, it's gonna be a vibe. Like a slower vibe, so I slow down the lights. What this reminds me of, like similar vibes to um, "You're So Fly." Just "You're So Fly" was a different kind of song. Like aesthetically, it reminds me of it. Oh my, hold on, this is low. No lyrics, right? Okay, real quick. Excuse me, boo. Hey, you know what? A little sexy roll, real quick. Bam, bam. Yo, bro. Freaking, uh, Tanks up looks so young, bro. Like Shanks looks like a child in this video, bro. Not gonna lie, apart from like when I listen to like like beats to be on my own, obviously, like almost every day. I've been suffering from some B2B withdrawal this past week. Because obviously I can't sit here and watch music videos all the time. But I listen to the music. But I like, I like, I love seeing them in music videos, bro. They always find a way to fit. Their vocals into everything. See, and then it gets back to this like. Well, I need to go check out a live stage for this after I'm done with all this. It better be one. <laughs> They're all in the mini cars, bro. <laughs> I love B2B so much. I'm gonna tell you something real quick. I, I posted on Twitter yesterday that I realized they we're getting silly.
You just lucky you didn't get towed. <laughs> so what I was talking about that I noticed yesterday is I was looking back through my old videos um, because I was trying to see videos that I had uploaded that I still had the file for because actually I told the people um, in the Mama Moo video I checked out yesterday and I'm gonna tell you guys now my first ever video for B2B was movie and it has a lot of cuts. I think I still haven't checked for Mama Moo either. I'm just a work kind of person. I always say I'm gonna do these things. I'll do it. But I think there is a chance that I can upload that video again without cuts. Like live stages is one thing, you know. I kind of don't want to touch live stages again, period. But the music videos that I've uploaded where there are cuts, I can up re-upload them without cuts. I think I gotta go in and check because I don't have the original footage. But I have the like the project that has the pro the uh, original footage imported into it. So I gotta check if I can still edit that and put in the full footage in there. Because if I can, I can re-upload some of these videos with no cuts. I won't take down the original though because that's like a memory of like you guys commenting and everything. And I don't want to let that go. But if you guys want to see it without cuts and I can actually do it, let me know what you're interested in in it. And I'll definitely go check if I can do it. But what I was saying is that I went back and I checked some of my old videos because I was looking at that and I noticed that in the Gashina video where I checked out Unkwang's performance and uh, the actual Gashina video, I realized that I said that that day was going to be the last day I checked out B2B. And that was January 8th and it's March 26th and they're on my list for today, Wednesday, Friday and next week. And it's just crazy you know like i thought i'd be done with b2b like two months ago and it's i'm not done i'm not even i'm not even close to being done that's why i told you that i want this i want to go through like comebacks well not necessarily comebacks i don't know how to last that long but at least to, through to the next comeback and me still not being done you know i want to be checking out b2b like next december <laughs> and it's still being older music so the thing i was talking to you about by the way is that i'm going to do a dedication to like uh, it's like gonna be a week of female groups and female artists male groups and male artists so B2B is already on my list for the male artist stuff and COC is already on my list for the female artist stuff But let me know other artists even if they're not like uh, cube artists that you'd like me to check out because I'll add them to those lists I don't know if I'll do males first or females first, but When I get to them, I will get to them and that's actually when I'm planning to check out Il Hoon's uh, mini album that's when I decided to do it. I still gotta check out a bunch of different ones. The two, uh, the comeback from yesterday from us, well, today from Master X and Stray Kids, they have the albums too that I wanna check out during that week. And also Hope World, J Hope's mixtape, I also wanna check it out. It was something that I promised right at the, I think it was at the same day that I checked out Ilhun. Um, so I wanna check them out during that week. If not, it'll carry over. But I definitely wanna do it then. Still more B2B to check out. And if there's still other suggestions, leave them down below, even though I have as many as I will ever need, probably.